Let's speak Korean. 제 83회 자는 것 같아. 네, 안녕하세요. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to Let's Speak Korean. I'm your host, Lisa Kelly, and today is our 83rd episode. And today's main expression is 자는 것 같아. And it means, I think he's sleeping. And actually, I think Steve is sleeping right now. Steve. Anyways, let's just continue on and just skip him. And we'll go and introduce Naomi. Hi, Naomi. 안녕하세요. 네오미입니다. Yeah, I know. We. 안녕하세요. <laughs> 난 마틴입니다. I think Steven's a little overworked because he was up all night looking at scripts. So let's just go on without him. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Go, go on. No, no, I'm here. What do you mean go on without me? No, no, no. 안녕하세요. Hey, everybody. Thank you. I'm Steven Revere. And here's Let's Do It. Let's do it. TV 왜 이렇게 조용하지? 다 자는 것 같아. <laughs> well, we were just saying how it got so loud all of a sudden since Steve just woke <laughs> up. It was pretty quiet, okay? Yeah. All right, do you guys know the word for quiet or loud? Mm. You just heard it. Mm. Mm. Okay, it was in our expression. Or shkudoyo, yeah. that's good, okay. Our first expression is, 집이 왜 이렇게, 왜 이렇게 조용해요? Okay, 조용해요 means quiet, okay, the opposite of uh -huh. or, um And it means... Well, that means very noisy, right? Mm -hmm. And be careful using it because Koreans, when they very rudely want to say, be quiet, I don't want to hear it anymore, they will say, shikro, right? So be careful using that. And when you hear somebody use that, if you hear somebody use that to you, uh, be careful. And mm -hmm. you might hear that on the Arirang TV dramas a lot too. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear it anymore. Ah, shikro. Anyway. Let's go back to the dialogue. Let's go back to the, the first, the first line. Uh -huh. of, the first line of the dialogue is "Wei iroke joyong haji jipi." They say "jipi wei iroke joyong haji." Now, notice that normally in English we would say we would put "why" in front. Why is the house so quiet, right? But in English, in Korean, they switched it around. But in actuality, you could in Korean perfectly well say. Mm -hmm. In Korean, because of these subject-object markers, sometimes the word order becomes less important. You could even say, right? You could even do that. Often, Koreans will switch word order around because it's possible in this case. And when you're talking about the way I always think of this to be translated is like this. Sometimes people will say, Oh, kuruke hajimasu, don't do it like that. Iroke heo, do it like this. Iroke heo, do it like this. So they're saying, why is the house so quiet? Like this, mm. <laughs> literally, right? Mm. Why is the house so quiet like this? Jibi wei iroke joyongaji. I think it's a little hard to pronounce. Do you want to try it? Jibi wei iroke joyongaji. Jibi wei kuroke joyongaji. Okay, and Martin just said wei kuroke, uh -huh. all right? <laughs> Yeah, you, you don't want to kuroke unless maybe you're calling on the telephone or something, mm -hmm. right? You're not calling on the telephone. In this situation, you're there. You're in the room, in the so house. you say, right. Wei right. You could, if you're on the phone, oh, Wei kuroke Right, Why or if you're outside the door, like mm -hmm. outside the house or a next door neighbor, you don't, or you hear mm -hmm. it's very loud or very quiet mm -hmm. from, so you're not actually in the house. You have to be somewhere else in a I different situation. Kuroke is for distance. That's yeah. right. Okay. And also it's for a little more effect or emphasis when you use it in other sentences. Okay, and the answer was, Ta chanin go kata. Okay, um, Stephen was chanin go kata earlier. <laughs> okay, and it means I think they're all sleeping. And we've had this, I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Hanin go kata. Notice the nun, the key part there, you're at when you put a nun after the verb, it means it is going on right now, right? It's in the middle of happening. So in the opening of the show, they said, oh, Stephen, chanin go gata. Meaning, it seems as though Stephen is sleeping. It looks like Stephen is sleeping. Ningo kata, you will hear all the time once again. Krungo kata, mm. right? Seems like, it looks like Koreans very often don't like to be direct in mm. what they're saying, their statements. They try to kind of 
uh, I don't want to say beat around the bush, but that's kind of negative. They don't want to rudely say, it's like this. This is the way it is so often. So you will hear ningogata, ingogata all the time. Right. And let's use that in a sentence, okay? Uh, it seems like it's raining outside. How would you say this? Rain is P, okay? And the verb for it is oda, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 밖에 mm -hmm. 비가 오는 것 같다. Very good. Okay, uh, another example. Uh, I think it's a little cold outside. 밖에 추운 것 같다. 추운 것 같다. 추운 것 같다. Okay, yeah. very good. And let's uh, try the 왜 이렇게. Use this in a sentence, okay? Uh, in Seoul, there's a lot of traffic and I'm always saying, why is it so trafficked or why is it so packed jammed with cars? How could you say this? Mm. 왜 이렇게 차가 많아? 차가 많아 or 길이 막히지? Uh. Okay. Uh, or how about this one? Why isn't the subway coming? We're always waiting for the subway or the bus. Martin? 그 지하철이 왜 이렇게 안 와? Good. Very good. Very good. 왜 이렇게 표정? Mm. What? What? Because uh -huh. I, I've got a feeling that some people are probably confused probably the same way Martin is mm -hmm. at why he went from 춥는 거 같아 to mm -hmm. 추운 거 같아, uh -huh. right? Did you notice she corrected? You said 춥는 거 같아, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, the reason that is, is 춥다 is an adjective, okay? When you put the 는 on there, as we have been doing, 피 오는 거 같아, 누구 자는 거 같아, you're adding a verb and something is happening. It's called 진행형. Something is happening right now. It's a progressive sentence, progressive tense. Whereas, when you're talking about an adjective, you would just add the ni. 추운 거 같아, the b up drops away and you change it to u and then un. 추운 거 같아, because it's an adjective, that's oh, I why. Mm. I see, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, mm. Okay, let's go on to wrap it up. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. 집이 왜 이렇게 조용하지? 엄마! 어디 외출하신 것 아니야? 글쎄, 샤워를 하는 것 같아. I have a lot of things I want to cover uh, that we heard in the wrap it up. The first one was we heard this word, 외출, 외출. It means you've gone out of the house and it doesn't mean you're going to work. It means you've left the home to do something. For example, to do your shopping, to go to the bank, but it doesn't matter regardless, you have left the home, so you're not at home. Mm. Okay? 외출하신 거 같다. And then the other one we heard was, 글쎄, I like this, right? 글쎄, it means, well, maybe, or you're thinking about it, or you're stalling for time while you think of an answer. Try that. 글쎄? 글쎄. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you, you always use the high forms, mm -hmm. don't you? Yes, very polite so guy, high Martin is. People here in this room, so. <laughs> very, oh, yes, we're older. Yeah, okay. Anyway, but notice again, like I was saying, Koreans don't like to dis disagree directly, right? Mm -hmm. So, what's happening here? The person says, Oh, I think she's gone. The other person says, Could say, right? They don't want to say, Anya, shall I go? <laughs> they don't want to do that. Oh, no, she's in the shower. They want to say, oh, I'm not so sure about that. I think she's in the shower. That's how a Korean would disagree, right? Mm. Much more polite. Right. And when you say she's taking a shower, we use the English word. Mm. And the difference between that versus mogyuk is you're taking a bath, okay? But in Korea, you, most people go to the mogyoktang, the, the sauna, and take a bath there. And at home, they just usually take showers. Mm. Another, another wonderful Korean cultural <laughs> culture. tip, right? right? Go to the sauna. They're wonderful. I know it's, it's a little strange for some of us Westerners walking around with a bunch of other naked people and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, that's enough of culture uh, sauna muna. Uh, let's go to... Oh, we're not going anywhere. We go gotta home. go home! Let's go okay. home! Let's get Sorry. Out. Well, join uh, us back here. Let's be Korean next time. Bye-bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Arirangtv.com. -bye.